Welcome back aliens, my name is Zavin Reddy and let's continue with the series on JavaScript. Now in the earlier video we have talked about objects, right? We have talked about how to create an object and then uh, we have also seen how do you save object inside the object, right? And then we have seen how to delete the property from the object. In this video, let's try to print all the properties. Hey, we have done that, right? We can simply print an object, it will print all the properties of the object. Example, let's say if I have the alien object here and I want to print the entire alien object. So I can simply print alien and if I run this code, uh, you can see we got the alien object. But then what if I want to print these properties one by one? Uh, can we do this? And yes, that's where we have this loop, which is a for loop or not the for loop, which we have seen before. This is a special type of loop, which is for in loop. Okay, so how do we use it? Uh, so basically for using a for in loop, we have to say for the way we do it uh, for normal for loop and then we need a variable here. But this time this variable is not to iterate between the numbers. Okay, it's not one, two, three, four. This variable here is to represent a particular key. See the only way to fetch a value of a property is with the help of a key, right? Example, if I want to fetch this JavaScript here, we have to use tech. That's how it works, right? So here we need to represent P or we can say a key because we are fetching a key of the property. Uh, so we'll say let key in which object you are, you are fetching from the alien object. So basically this for loop will iterate between the elements or between the properties, all these properties here, and it will take one key at a time. So with that one key, uh, let me just print the key and let's see what happens. Uh, let me just remove this alien part from here. So what we are basically doing is we are printing a key here right? Only a key, not a value. Let's see what happens. The moment you run this code, you got all the keys, right? You got name, you got tech, you got laptop. Now the question would be why not CPU, RAM and brand? It's quite obvious, right? The key for alien is only three. These are the keys. These are the properties for laptop, right? Uh, so that's why we only got laptop, not the internal part of it. Okay. But once we have a key with us, what we can do with it? A lot of things of course we can fetch all the values so let me also print the values here how do you print a value it's quite simple right we can fetch the value from the alien object okay uh, how do you fetch a particular value so let's say i want to fetch this js here so the way you can fetch that js is by giving a dot here so we can say alien dot uh, you can mention tech right it will fetch tech and let's see what happens if we do this. The moment you run this code, you can see we got all the properties. That's perfectly works. But the values are weird. We got name, tech, and laptop. Those are the keys. The values are JS, JS, JS. Do you know why? We are hard coded dot tech here. We don't want that. We don't want to mention one particular property there. It should change based on which key it represents. So in this case, we will be using a square bracket because key is not a part of the object, right? So we have to use square bracket. And we'll mention key here. Now this key will keep changing, right? Initially, this will be name, then it will jump to tag, then it will jump to laptop and it will fetch that particular value. Will this work? Let's try. So first of all, let me clear it and run and that works. You can see we got name Naveen, we got tech JS, we got laptop and thing works, right? Now, basically when we are using this type of loop, we can fetch a key and with that key, you can fetch a value. Right, if that makes sense. But then what if I want to print all the properties of a laptop? Now there's something you will be doing by your own. Okay, so that's your assignment. Uh, we have done it for alien. You have to do it for laptop. And if you are not able to do that, that's okay. You can find the comment section. Someone might have answered it. Okay, so I will check your comments and let me know what is your answer. How do you print all the properties of the laptop? Okay, so this is something we have done. We don't use it often, but if you want to print all the properties, this is how you do it, right? Now, apart from this, we also have a for off loop, which we'll see when we start with arrays. Okay, but as of now, we have talked about a for loop and that's how you can print all the values of, of the object. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me in the comment section and do subscribe for other videos. Bye-bye.